on October 25, 1994, in the small town of San Jacinto, California, Dora Buenrostro ran into the police station about 6.30 a.m., saying her estranged husband had appeared at her apartment, and she was afraid he might hurt the couple's three children. About 15 minutes later, the police found the bodies of the couple's nine-year-old daughter, Susana, and eight-year-old son, Vincenti, in the family's apartment. A third child, four-year-old Deidre, was found dead the next day, still strapped in a car safety seat, in an abandoned post office in the Lakeview section of Riverside County. No weapon was recovered at either scene, but all three children had been stabbed. The father, Alejandro Buenrostro, 37, was stopped near downtown Los Angeles, 85 miles from where the bodies were found. He was returned to San Jacinto for questioning, but was released after investigators said he had established that he was not in the San Jacinto area when the children were killed. After told that their kids were all dead, Buenrostro went from laughing and joking to being tired, to being nonchalant, but never showed remorse or sadness. Police never believed her and her story's inconsistencies, and on November 1995 a jury decided she was competent to stand trial, despite the defense's contention that she is psychotic. On October 2, 1998, Dora Buenrostra was sentenced to death. Celeste Carrington is on death row for the 1992 murders of 34-year-old Victor Esparza, a shoe factory janitor, and 36-year-old Carolyn Gleason, a property manager at a Palo Alto real estate firm. Both victims were shot in the head at close range. Carrington was also convicted of the attempted murder of pediatrician Alan Marks, in his Redwood City office. Marks was wounded but survived and testified at her trial. The crimes occurred while burglarizing offices where she had worked as a janitor. Carrington was abused by both parents and got pregnant by her father at age 14, said her defense. She had no criminal record before the murders but had been fired from her job as a janitor in December 1991 for stealing checks. Witnesses at her trial said she had been providing financial support for her lover and her three children. Those were executions, said the prosecution. According to the medical examiner's report, Carolyn Gleason was on her knees before Carrington, when she was shot. And Victor Esparza was either kneeling or standing, with no evidence that he was resisting. The jury agreed, and with the aggravated circumstance of being murders committed during burglaries, they recommended the death penalty. Celeste Simone Carrington was sentenced to death on November 23, 1994. With Dora Buenrostra and 18 other women, she's on death row awaiting execution by lethal injection, at Central California Women's Facility, in Chowchilla, 